for me right now being so new to this, what do you think? Because I can say the script, I can do that, and it's almost dummy proof, right? That yeah. stuff. Um, what would be some other solid building block where you would suggest where what is going to be the most strategic to get the best result? Yeah, um, for sure. So the fastest way to get the best results is understand who the movers are on the floor, right? So in this particular case, the majority of people on my team because you see them consistently at the top. I'm not talking about the person who was at the top last month, but the, the people that you see consistently at the top, and it's on the TV screens, right? Yeah. You get to see the rankings. So you'll consistently see certain names, and those certain names become people that you want to kind of mimic or mirror. So you want to know what they're doing, right? And so when they get announced at the rally, you hit them straight with a direct email. It's like, man, awesome job, you know what I mean? Hitting first place or whatever, it's super inspiring. Thanks for the motivation, right? That's how I used to hit top producers. When I first started here, that's how I would hit top producers. Wow. You know, they were killing every single month, so I would hit them a direct because they didn't know me. I was so brand new. And I'm like, um, awesome job last month, hitting number one, true inspiration, thanks for the motivation, and that's it. Right? Didn't ask him for anything. They would reply back and say, yeah, thanks. You know, And then later on, I would hit him with another kind of fluff. But the point is that you put yourself in the circle of where the producers are. You find a way to get them connected to you, right? Or at least have good face to where if you have an issue, you can go up to them and ask them, hey man, how are you getting around this? Mm. Right? Because that's the best way is because they've gone through so many times where you're able to bypass years of trial and error by picking up their tidbits kind of like what you're doing right now yeah. right like this is going to save you a, a gang of time what? right like very very profitable information but it's all a matter of how can you put yourself in front of them so you of all the LOs that I approached there's only six of you that actually took advantage of it and it is all because of the fear of doing a testimonial or whatever it is right mm -hmm. so you know I think just be courageous understand who the true players are keep yourself close to that circle you're also going to notice that the people around you the production around you is going to heavily influence you so in other words if the top person on your team has done six loans that shouldn't be your bar you want to look at the top person on any team regardless if it's your team and say how are they doing it right and just know that it's possible and just try to get yourself there. And then second is a morning routine. Morning routine is something that you do every morning, right? So if, let's say if you typically wake up at, let's say six o'clock and you're done and ready on your way to work within like half an hour to an hour, a morning routine would happen before that, right? So you'd wake up, start off maybe an hour or two hours before that, and then just invest in yourself. And this is where you start feeding your brain. Right? You start thinking about analyzing, you know, where can I improve? It has nothing to do with like work emails or fires. It has solely to do with you perfecting your craft. Mm. Because what happens is when you come in and you're already primed, your game is on. Because you've already been up, you're warmed up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where a lot of LOs and a lot of salespeople, they just wake up and then roll in, but they're still kind of groggy, right? They'll go take like a 15 minute smoke break, go grab their coffee, mm. and now it's nine o'clock before they're tuned in. Wow. But since you woke up so early, you're tuned in by the time you get here at 8.30. You're on. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then it just radiates throughout your day. So whether it's like going to the gym or, you know, reading or watching YouTube content, it's a matter of just getting your mind right before you get in. Because this is a mental sport. You're going to yeah. get burnt out, yeah. you know, if you don't really take that seriously. So I would say those are the two biggest pieces of advice. Well, I think I just leveled up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. for sure, for sure, for sure, no doubt. Was that helpful? That was amazing. Yeah? That was cool, awesome. man.